Hey guys, it's Socks and welcome to day two of the 13 Deadly Nights of Cast Challenge by Nika Tyler. Getting right into today's prompt, we have perfectly disguised. So, for this Greatest Sim Challenge, I made a bunch of different kind of cool occults. I made a couple vampires, but this is one of them. This is our more like masquerade ball, like fancy, eloquent, well-spoken vampire. Maybe like a Victorian era vampire who's kind of been around for a little bit, if you know what I mean. I actually base the Sims like model kind of on Ignis Gincha from is that how you say his last name? I don't know. Ignis from Final Fantasy 15 basically. Kind of just loosely based like the face and the overall vibe, the dress um, on him. So that's kind of where I got the inspiration for that. Yeah, what, for the perfectly disguised prompt, I kind of played around with some masquerade masks. I believe they're a collection from Blue Craving. They're really, really cool masks. I think I used them again. I never really like had a use for them when I first downloaded them, but I'm like, I have a feeling, a feeling I'm gonna need these someday. You don't see me uh, do this because I completely forgot to make this sim a vampire before <laughs> I actually went into create a sim. I always do that for some reason. Don't know why. Don't worry. I fixed it later because I wanted, I wanted to get a picture of like the sharp teeth hidden under the mask, and the eyes are just slightly off in color like if you 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 could kind of look at first glance be like oh they're like a dark like reddish brown i oh my i'm sorry if you hear me wheezing a little bit <laughs> i need to take my puffer in between these um but yeah just a little bit off a little bit of that tinge of reddish purple but i thought the von haunt estate would be a good setting for this same kind of a masquerade ball starting in the chalet gardens so when night sets he's free to come out and be be as he is i'll i'll be it with a little bit of a disguise but it's like a it's a perfect perfect environment for a vampire looking for a l little snack i guess his name is romeo i honestly think i i th i think he is like from romania itself which i didn't even think of that when i like named him <laughs> romeo because i'm thinking like you know the stereotypical transylvania vampire is probably a couple hundred years old and maybe lives in windenburg now which is still pretty still pretty european so still kind of in that same area or even like a castlevania vampire and like wallachia oh my god i have not seen the new show yet. i need to I need to because I've seen screen grabs on Twitter of the new Castlevania show. Good lord, do I need to watch it. There's a lot I want to do right now. I want to play Baldur's Gate really, really bad. Totally not because um, I want to romance Asterion. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the original Castlevania series, oh my god, I loved it. I loved that show. That was the first show me and my boyfriend like watched together. I think I already seen um, the first two seasons, but we finished it together. I love it. If you haven't seen it yet, um, go check it out. And this is coming from someone who doesn't really like anime, by the way. I mean, it because it technically is anime, but it's a little, it's a little, it's a little different. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of all the VAs too. They that special place, special place in my heart. The whole Castlevania series in general, really, because I remember watching my sister play it while I grew up i was kind of horrified of it but now i'm like i don't know it's like a nostalgic nostalgic little thing for me i don't know something about something about gloves does it, i don't I, this i don't even know how this relates to what i was saying previously i just want to talk about gloves and people not even just men just gloves in general just yeah let, <laughs> i like i like them with the what the hell am I talking about? I think that's where it's time to end this voice so far because I've said what I needed to say. Anyways, thank you all for watching today's video, of course. I would like to thank my patrons, Jacqueline Dream, Hanabo, Esther, and Sasha. I would like to support me and my channel. The link to my patron is down below. However, that is never a necessity. And of course, please go check out Nika's channel as well as their series. I have been really enjoying it. And again, if you like the same vibes here, you'll love her channel. But yeah, thank you all for watching this video. And I will see you all in the next video of whatever I make.